In this video, we're going to be talking about the Quick Divide tool here inside Pixel Creator Pro. It's one of our big claims to fame because it is actually a really incredible tool that allows us to do a lot of fun things. The drawback is it seems a bit overwhelming because there's so many buttons and gadgets in it um, that you, you know, well, where do I use all these things? And so this is what we're going to go through in the next few minutes is how we can utilize this Quick Divide tool. So first of all, Quick Divide is a more advanced add aperture tool. That's essentially what it's for, um, is to add additional image openings um, in, in an easy way. So just a real basic synopsis would be, let's make a selection. And I'm going to choose Quick Divide. And what I want to do is I want to divide that selection horizontally by four image openings with a quarter inch spacing in between each one. We're going to create image layers, but we're not going to create guidelines and hit divide. Boom. Four image openings, perfectly spaced, exactly a quarter inch apart. Just that quick and easy. Now that's pretty cool. And we can also do both vertical and horizontal divisions at the same time. We saw that earlier. So when I choose the quick divide tool again, we'll do a vertical division of three with a quarter inch spacing horizontally, three with a quarter inch spacing, create image layers, divide. Pixel Creator Pro goes to work. Boom, we have nine image openings that we can then populate with images. Delete that. And then we can get into another option. And let's show you that option. Let's go ahead and make a vertical selection. I'll tell you what, let's go canvas to canvas, top to bottom. And I want to divide this vertically by three image openings, but I also want to insert some images. So let's go in here and let's take one, two, three images here in bridge and go into quick divide. I'm going to divide vertically by three with an eighth inch spacing just because we can and then no horizontal divisions but we're going to choose create image layers and insert images and divide so not only is it going to create three image layers vertically but then it's going to take those images and drop them one by one and resize them automatically for each one of those image openings so if we know that we're going to do a division and then insert images, we can do it all in one fail swoop. Just go into Bridge, select our images first, then using the Quick Divide tool, we can go ahead and make this division. Now, just like we talked about earlier, using the Quick Divide Insert Photo or Add Aperture tools, we're always going to get these red strokes on our image layers. But also, just like I said earlier, we can just toggle that off if that's not something that we want. And just to kind of bring it all together, we're going to select these three and choose this color bar option. And we're going to offset a half inch to the bottom. And notice we get a new layer below. That's exactly a half inch to the outside edge left and right. Of course, we can't see because of the bottom, it kind of extends beyond our canvas. But isn't that kind of a cool effect? And again, we can lower the fill opacity, add a cool stroke effect. And you can see we actually created a pretty cool effect very, very simply and easily. So let's go ahead and delete this. Take another look at Quick Divine, how we might use it a little bit differently. So let's go ahead and make a selection like so. And let's choose Quick Divide, but this time we're going to do something a little bit more interesting. We're going to do a horizontal division of three with a quarter inch spacing. And then you might say, uh, well, we don't want to create image layers. We just want to create some guidelines and hit Divide. Now you say, well, what possible purpose would that serve? Well, watch what we can do. Now this is a little bit more advanced technique, but as you bring all the pieces together, understand all the basic functions of Pixel Creator Pro, these are the types of things you're going to be able to do. So let's come in here, grab a rounded rectangle tool. Now up here in the options bar, it says a radius of one inch. So I'm just going to drag, using those new guidelines I just created, a shape, snap it right there. Now, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract from my existing vector layer mask. So I'm going to switch over here to my rectangle tool, hold down my Alt key or Option key for you Mac folks, and click and drag a little rectangle. And it's actually subtracting from the existing vector. You see that there. I actually have a little gap there. Do the exact same thing over here. Subtract, pull down. See what I did there? Now let's go ahead and clear out our guidelines, C for clear, and let's take a look at what we have here. Now, we have these two rectangles that we just added to our basic shape. We need to get rid of those, so I'm going to switch over here to my Path Selection tool here in Photoshop and hit Combine. Those gone away, and then we use this magic button over here, which is our Break Apart, which we looked at earlier, and it'll just take each one of those boxes, and now we have three separate image layers. See, so how cool is that? So we can bring all these tools together and get a better understanding of how the Quick Divide tool can help us do all kinds of fun different things. So let's go ahead and delete that. Let's look at another option with Quick Divide, a little bit more advanced option, but I'm going to go ahead and make a selection. I'm going to choose my Add Aperture tool, and here's what I want to do. To the right of this existing image opening, I want to create three vertical image openings that are perfectly square. How can I use Quick Divide to help me do this? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a selection because Quick Divide doesn't work without a selection. So I need to select, but I need to start the selection right here to the right edge of this existing image opening. And in Photoshop, there's really no easy way to create a selection and snap it to a layer. But we have these Quick Guide tools here in Pixel Creator Pro where I can do a Quick Guide to the right and it creates a guideline smack dab to the right of that layer. Now when I make my selection, guess what? It'll snap right to my guideline. So that's pretty nifty stuff. So I'm going to make it nice and wide to over exaggerate my point here. Make it nice and wide choosing the quick divide option. Let's look at the options here. So we know we want a vertical division of three with a quarter inch spacing. And we're going to add this function here, the left function. So horizontal divisions, we just want one, but we want to start a quarter inch in from the left edge of my current selection, and we're going to create image layers. And we're also going to create guidelines, but we're not going to insert images. So watch what happens when I choose all these different functions, divide, boom. So we have three vertical image openings. We have a quarter inch spacing starting from the left edge of my selection, which was snapped right to the guideline there. And of course we have a quarter inch spacing in between these two layers as well. What we don't have is we don't have perfect squares going vertically. These are horizontal image openings. How do we make those a perfect square? Well, in Photoshop, we just grab our rectangular marquee tool we make a selection snapping to these guidelines that are already in place and that's the reason we chose the guideline function in quick divide so when I hold down my shift key it'll constrain to a perfect square and as I get close to the bottom guideline you'll feel it snap right into place now we have a perfectly square selection so I use the quick guide function again quick guide to the right and notice now it gives a guideline to the right edge of my selection so now I can take these three image layers and I can free transform them. So let me just free transform, control T or command T for you Mac folks, and just drag it and snap it right to the guideline. And now you can see we have a nice arrangement of image openings, nicely evenly spaced using some of the more advanced features of that quick divide tool. And that's really all there is to it. We've gone through all the options there in Quick Divide. Now it's up to you to experiment with some of the additional options and different configurations that you might create using the Quick Divide tool.